Hello again fellas, it's me again. Just another quick video today. A while ago I showed you a uh, old Philips SGS203 streetlight. Uh, that's quite an old design. And uh, today's equipment inspection we're going to have a look at a much newer one. This is an Industria Arc. And it's up to 150 watts Son or metal halide lamps. And obviously as it's a newer design there's a lot more features in it and it's just a lot more robust. So let's just have a look shall we. On the top, there's not really much to it. Obviously, there's no photo cell socket because this lantern, wherever it was installed, was group switched by a central point. But you would normally see photo cell sockets on the top, and of course, photo cell. This one obviously doesn't feature that one. Underneath, there's not much to it as well. We just got the spigot adapter. It's set up currently for a side entry. So the pole comes in this way, but you can actually unscrew this and swap it round so it goes that way. That allows you to mount it directly on the post with no outreach arm. Obviously the whole thing is made out of pressure cast aluminium so it's very robust and we've got a nice thick powder coating on it. To access the internals we've simply got one catch which releases, the canopy swings up and locks exposing the control gear. Now note this is a double ingress protection model which basically means the actual lamp unit itself by these seals is IP66 but also the lamp compartment and the optics is also sealed to IP66. That basically means that no rubbish or moisture can get inside here and ruin the optics. Or the optical performance. Let's have a quick look. Servicing a lamp in these, dead easy. Disconnect the wire, yeah, like so. Put that out of the way. Oops, stay. Unlock. And this whole unit, the tracks. So you can unscrew the lamp, put a new wire in there. Back in. Reconnect. Job done. Seconds. Here we can have a quick close up look at the control gear. It's a standard magnetic choke with a superimposed igniter. Choke itself is a Tritonic Atco uh, OMBIS 150 A604V rated for a 150 watt high pressure sodium or metal halide lamp. And the capacitor on the left hand side here, purely for power factor correction, it's rated at 20 microfarads. This is the superimposing igniter here and your terminal connection point. The cable enters through here, comes round here, you've got your earthing points here and here and your main mounting points here. This is designed in such a way that there's an interlock on this. The see these contacts here, there's a plug on the top of the canopy so when you open the canopy the mains is isolated so all this is dead and the gear tray itself, if I just press this the whole gear tray itself just lifts out so for replacement you just a simple case of unclip, take the old one out, put the new one in, job done on the top of the canopy you can see the nice big thick seals the knockout here is for the photo cell and the plug I was referencing before is right there. Obviously you've got your spring and when you want to release it, it's just a case of lifting it up and it unlocks so it doesn't shut on your fingers when you're trying to change the bulb. We have another quick close look at the optical cell. You can see the it's bolted in nice and securely. There's a gasket in there and the curved glass at the bottom is permanently bonded to this so there's nothing really can get in there past this seal and obviously the main seal of the actual lantern itself so it's a very clean lantern double ingress protection you can get this with just the reflector which bolts onto the canopy like the old Philips but I think most uh, people choose this for the improved uh, lumen maintenance and the you don't have to clean it every time you relamp it it's just job done now the lamp I'm going to use for this test is not a standard sun lamp, 
it's a deluxe sodium lamp and that runs at an increased pressure so as a result the colour rendering properties is greatly improved the normal high pressure sodium I think it's only something like 20% colour rendering this is 65% which is actually better than a few of the old uh, halophosphate fluorescent lamps there is a downside to this the luminous efficiency is slightly lower and it takes quite a while to warm up so what I'm going to do is I'll switch it on, we'll watch a few seconds and then I'll put an ND filter on and we'll skip to the full power state I wouldn't want to bore you too much so power in 3, 2, 1, 0 standard 240 volts, 50 hertz you get a nice hum from the ballast So you might have already noticed the arc tube is quite a bit thicker than a normal 150 watt high pressure sodium lamp because it's got to deal with the increased temperature and pressure of this Dulux sodium lamp. I really like the Al Dulux sodium lamp. It was very popular in the 1980s before the advent of ceramic metal halide and the slightly cooler temperature of I think it was 2200 uh, Kelvin and the colour rendering made it was popular for indoors like lighting, uh, I don't know, sports halls, car parks, anywhere where you need a, a nice efficiency. I think I'll cut that bit off. Right, it's been about five or six minutes now, we're at full power. And uh, straight away you should notice it's a slightly cooler cold temperature. Normal high pressure sodium is 2000 Kelvin, this is 2300 Kelvin, and it's slightly dimmer, it's only 12,500 lumens, whereas the standard 150 watt sun is 17,700. But that's at 20% colour rendering, this has got a 65% colour rendering index, which means it's quite good at displaying colours. So you would actually, well, it was used quite popularly in the 1980s in libraries and sports halls and shopping centres anywhere where you needed high efficiency obviously this was before the days of ceramic metal halide so they're a bit obsolete now but if I zoom in a bit and if I crank up the variable ND I'm running an F8 at the moment with uh, 2 ND but if I spin the wheel I can reduce that down and we should be able to see the arc tube there we go, you can actually just make out the arc there. There you go, you can see the arc through the transparent aluminium oxide arc tube designed to withstand amazing temperatures and pressures. There you go. Deluxe high pressure sodium. I hope you found this little video tour interesting. Thanks for watching.